Welcome to this test flight of the new version of Planefinder.net by Pinkfruit. Planefinder.net complements our Planefinder and Shipfinder apps for Apple iOS, Android and Windows Phone. We start with the world map, showing planes in real time across the world. The black boxes show large groups of planes. The boxes disappear as we zoom into the map. If we now scroll across to uh, North America, again we see live planes. Um, just give ourselves a bit more room by getting rid of the top bar. Uh, let's have a look down into Los Angeles, just hover over some planes and you can see the flight numbers. Now we want to get back to uh, Europe, so we'll do a quick um, jump across using the search. We'll go across to London. Again, we can see the aircraft there, let's zoom out a bit. Highlight on a plane, let's have a look at this one in a bit more detail. It's an easy jet flight, you can see the flight path that I highlighted up there. We've got flight number, the route, uh, airline, altitude, etc. Hit on the plane. Uh, tab, have a look at some photographs. These are uploaded by our users. So we've got four on this one. We can also share details of the flight. There's a hyperlink by Twitter or by Facebook. Uh, we'll just click on that button there and get rid of the flight path. We can also uh, search for an individual flight. So in the plane um, box there, if we type in BAW, we'll get a list of BAW flights. There's a British Airways flight just uh, leaving the UK. Uh, click on the uh, button there and that will show the full route of that plane whilst we've been tracking it. We've included some filters to narrow down the number of planes that we're looking at. So we can filter on altitude or speed, drag from the bottom or the top. So for instance you can have uh, both to zero so you can see planes on the ground. Uh, so now we've cut down the number of planes. You'll see a, a box at the bottom of the screen showing you've got a filter applied. Just reset that and clear the filter. We just scroll down and look at the list of airlines. Uh, if we look go and find British Airways, there it is, we've got 59 flights uh, being tracked. So now we'll just see those on the map. Uh, here we can uh, see those planes, just click on a couple. And you'll see the flight paths being added, so we can show multiple flight paths. Uh, it gets a little bit messy, but can be really interesting as you're watching airports. And those can be cleared by the map, hide all flight paths, nice and clean again. Got some other map views, satellite or grayscale, obviously choose your preference. Let's just clear that filter that we applied earlier, reset so it's not just the British Airways planes again now. Next thing we'll take a look at is playback. Just clear the map options to give ourselves more room on the screen. Playback, pick any day, in this case we'll pick the 16th of September, pick a time, 9am, um, and we'll click play, it's set to 5 times speed. So there we go, we can see the planes uh, running through. Speed it up, anything from uh, 1 times to 120 times are available. So here we are, 30 times. Let's zoom the map back a bit, look at 120 speed. You can see there is some pretty dynamic uh, plane activity going on through in and out of the UK. Uh, let's stop that. Next thing we're going to take a look at is our integration with Google Earth. We'll have a look at this Air Lingus flight, click on the Google Earth button. It will download a KML file. If we just fire that up, uh, Google Earth will, will open. Here we go. Uh, what we can then do is see that flight path, there it is, starting uh, down near Italy, uh, ending up uh, over the UK somewhere. So if we click on Fly Me, uh, we'll start that flight. Should start over the sea as it goes towards Italy, there we go. And we could watch that all the way through, and we saw it circling over, over London as it was uh, on its approach to Heathrow and then out the other side, there you go. I uh, won't do all of that now obviously. So if we clear that, just a couple more things to have a look at. If we select more, it's a link to the map, or you can embed the map into your own website. Just a final thing to have a look at now, open up the top menu bar, we've got how the, how the application works, a community tab. Community is important to us. Um, we see this as a, a shared resource. If you've got your own data, then we'd be delighted if you share it with us. Uh, we've got many people around the world we've helped out with receivers to share data. You can upload photos there that will show up in the app. So, there it is, plainfinder.net by Pinkfruits. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy the mobile apps too. Thank you.